Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make sinigang nababoy or pork sinigang. So sinigang is um, one of the most amazing soups here in the Philippines. It's like one of my comfort foods for Filipino food. And it's a sour soup made with pork in this case, but you can also make it with any other kind of meat really. It's got cabbage, garlic, tomatoes, onion, string bean, uh, okra, and eggplant. All the different people I know who make uh, sinigang, they always use different ingredients. And some call it, like, I think my roommate uses cabbage. My Lola didn't use any cabbage. So it really depends on who you ask, really, what ingredients are in it. So pretty much one thing that all sinigang recipes will have in common, probably no matter who you ask, is this Noor Sinigang Sasampalok mix. Um, everybody I know who makes sinigang at home uses this. Maybe if you get it from a restaurant, they're gonna make it from scratch. But I have no idea how to make this, and that's very, very hard probably for my level of cooking. So we're gonna use the mix. First, what we're gonna cut is everybody's favorite thing to cut, an onion. Okay, so now that you have your onions cut, it's time to move on to the tomatoes. Our tomatoes are done. So there we have our onion tomatoes. I really like pork with sinigang. A lot of people will make it with like chicken. I guess people do it also with beef. Yeah, so you just wanna get, you know, a fatty cut of meat. What we're using is pork belly. I think the fattiness is really nice. It's like a really nice soft meat that really soaks in all of the the seasoning and the uh, sampalak mix. Even though, you know, we took off the pieces of bone, it's good to keep them just, you know, while you cook because it'll give it a nice flavor and then the little pieces of meat still attached will fall off the bone once you get it cooking. Cook the onions until they become translucent. Got a nice sizzle going on, that's a nice yummy sound. Next, what you want to, to add is the meat. Ooh, sizzling meat. Okay, and then we wanna add the tomatoes. And then just stir it all around a bit. Leave it for a bit until it's brown, which should take about 20 minutes. Now, we're gonna cut the okra. So the way you're gonna cut the okra, cut this little butt off, put it off to the side, you know. Okay, and then we have our okra. Next, go ahead and cut your eggplant. Okay. We have the last butt going to join the meeting. They look cute. They look like they're having a little get together. Woo. Okay, anyways, moving on. The next thing that you want to cut is your sitao. It's a really long Filipino string bean. You can make a little design. Okay, there we go. And then if you get hungry, you can just so keep cutting these until, you know, they're all cut. Because that's the way you cook. Now our green beans are done, our sitao. They're jumping. So look at, you know, once it looks like they're having a good time, you know, the water's boiling, they're dancing, you know, the meat's jiggling a little. Then you want to put four cups of water in the sinigang. And then you want to add your sinigang sampalok mix. Pouring it, pour, pouring, putting it in, pouring it in and putting it in equals pouring it in. After you've put your four cups of water and your sampalok mix, then you put the lid back on. Once it boils, you bring it back down to a simmer. So now, what do you want to cut? It's your cabbage. Okay. I'm literally like having to leverage myself. Okay. So the cabbage is cut in half now. Oh, it's cheese. No, the cabbage is cut in half now. So now you can use the heart of the cabbage for a stage for the you know presenters or the leaders of your vegetable butt community. Okay, 
Then you just, oh! <laughs> so it's okay that the pieces are still, you know, pretty big because it's gonna be nice and a big yummy piece of cabbage. And then we have all the cabbage cut up and ready to go. And you know, we've got a nice little stage area for our vegetable butt community to enjoy a concert unlike the rest of us who are in quarantine who cannot enjoy such gatherings. So you wanna do about four cloves of garlic. Crush the garlic so it's easy to peel. Cut the pieces. I also like to crush them again for just to get all the flavors out. The presenters can now wear nice dresses. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, my fingers smell like garlic. First, you want to put the garlic and okra. Pour it in there, or give it a nice stir. We wait about 10 minutes let the okra and the garlic get you know their flavors going in there put the lid back on and then in 10 minutes we'll come back and put the eggplant okay so typically sinigang would be eaten with white rice but i'm trying to be a little bit healthier and also supporting more local economy a lot of the white rice in the philippines is actually imported from china even though we have our own you know rice growing industry. Adlai is actually a, it's a much healthier than white rice and it's grown here in the Philippines in Bukidnon which is in Mindanao and it's grown mostly by indigenous people so it's a good way to support them, um, support the local Filipino economy and eat healthy. Here's the Adlai. So you want to do half a cup of the Adlai. One cup of water to half a cup of adlai. Okay, so then you just wanna put it on, put the lid on, and then, you know, just cook it like you cook rice. Put the eggplant in there. Stir it up. So then just let the eggplant cook for a few minutes before you add the next thing. The lid on, let it simmer again, put the eggplant in there. All right. Okay, so, ooh, look at that cooked eggplant. Mm -hmm. it smells so good. Raise the heat up just a little bit since we're gonna add more things. So go ahead and add the sitao. And then at the same time, you want to add your cabbage. Push it down, make it fit. It's pretty big. Just cover it, it's fine, you know. Put a lid on it, let, you know, the steam get rid of our problems for us. Bring it to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, so now our sinigang is done. It looks so delicious, it smells like heaven. I think it's too hot though. It might be too hot. <laughs> it just came out of the... I mean, you can blow on it for a while and then just have a bite. Okay. Hot? <laughs> yeah, that's really hot. I like shot it at the back of my throat. Hot. Yeah. Are you okay? Isn't it like super duper hot? Do you see why I reacted the way I did mm -hmm. now? It was... The green beans are good. So good though. Mm. Oh my god, I love Sinigang. This is my first time actually having it with the Adlai and I think it's good. What do you think? I like the Adlai. I mean, I, I think any type of green would be would work well with this. Oh, good job. You did this all on your own? Well, I had some, you know, a little friend on my shoulder whispering all the instructions to me. Oh, actually I have a something to admit. The one who taught me how to make Sinigang is actually my non-Filipino boyfriend. So while I'm the Filipino, I actually learned it from my non-Filipino boyfriend. He's just such a better cook than me. Everything comes better, like more easy to him when it comes to cooking stuff. So. Aw, thanks. 
So, you know, usually he does... I, I, I let him do most of the cooking. It's just so pretty. It's just so... It makes my heart as warm as the dishes itself. It's so good. So, let me know what's your favorite sinigang recipe. What do you usually put in it? How is your sinigang recipe different than ours? And if you try this recipe, definitely let me know. I'd love to hear your comments and questions, suggestions. So don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. I think it's this way this time. Thanks, guys. See you later.